Today we will begin with lesson number 18 that is sound and production of sound. And in this video we will be studying following things. Okay. We will study about vibration, pitch, intensity and level of sound and oscillator, oscillation and oscillatory motion. So these are various terms related to sound. Okay, and each of these term, what is the explanation or what is the meaning of that and how it helps to generate or understand the sound better, that all we will be studying in this video. Okay, so let's begin. First, we will see some events that are responsible for generating the sound. Okay, so when you clap your hands, you can clap your hands and see children that the sound is generated. Or in the second picture here, you see bursting of crackers. There also we can hear the sound. Here we see the person is playing a musical instrument. Okay, so in that case, the sound is generated. So like that, there are various events that are happening in the surrounding that generates the sound. Even if when you talk to each other, now right now I am talking and you all can hear me because sound is generated from me and that you all can hear. Okay, so sound you can say that it is one of the most important thing in our life which enables us to hear or understand the thing in a better way. Okay, now let's see some example how the sound is generated. Now, in this example, we can see that the person with the help of his finger, he is stretching the strings. Okay, so when he is stretching the strings, some kind of vibrations are produced. So, here the sound is generated due to vibration of an object. Okay, so when you stretch the string here, vibrations are produced and the vibrations are responsible to generate the sound. On the other hand, when you see the bursting of cracker or the clapping of the hand, actually here there are no vibrations are such. Okay, or vibrations are not felt as such. Vibrations are there, but we cannot feel them. However, the vibrations are produced in this case also. Okay, so though we cannot feel or see the vibrations, the vibrations are produced here. Because without vibrations, the sound will not be produced. Okay, so you can say that all these vibrations are imparted to the molecule in the air and the sound is produced. Okay, so when a cracker is burst on when we are clapping the hand. Now see, we are clapping the hand. Hands are far from ear. But that sound we can hear very clearly. Okay, now see. You all can hear the clapping of the hands. Okay, now I am so much far away from you. But you all could hear that very clearly. Okay, because what is happening is these vibrations are vibrating the molecules in the air and thus the sound is produced. Okay, so vibration and the vibration of the air molecule is very important for the production of sound and that carrying or the carrying the sound from one place to another. You also have seen when a stone is thrown into a calm water of a lake, waves are generated and they reach up to the bank of the lake. Okay, so here you can see that I am throwing the stone in the center. But the circle, circle, round, round, these are like waves. These waves are produced and the waves are going far away. That is, it reach up to the bank of the lake. Okay, so vibrations also reach our ear through the air in a similar way and the sound is heard. So as I explained you in the previous slide, whenever vibrations are produced, it travels through the air and it reaches to our ear and we can hear the sound very clearly. Okay, so there are various words here. Okay, vibrations are traveling through the air, reaching to our ear and we can hear the sound very clearly. Now, this is how the vibrations are coming. We actually cannot see the vibrations. Okay, remember, this is just a diagram that is showing you how vibrations are coming from the air and entering it into our ear. Okay, remember, we cannot see the vibrations. Okay, so this is how the sound is generated and it is reaching to us. 
then we have also studied that vibrations of an object is necessary for generation of the sound as i explain you no vibration no sound will be produced so in this so these are the few things that you have already studied in your lower standard so what we are going to study in this lesson is more about vibration okay then we will be studying about the pitch of the sound the intensity and the level of the sound and each term i will explain it to you as it comes in the lesson okay so right now just try to understand we are learning more about sound and the terms related to sound now this you must have seen when a singer tunes a musical instrument before he starts singing what exactly he does he is making sure that whatever musical instrument is there is properly tuned okay so what is what is mean by tuning that by adjusting he is adjusting the tension in the string so he tunes like for example this tanpura is there so he is adjusting the vibration in the string okay so that it produces whatever notes or sound we want this is a tabla player what he is doing he is hammering the pegs see here he is hammering the pegs to adjust the tension or the diaphragm of the tabla now this is the diaphragm of the tabla and here you can see some strings okay so when these this small wooden pegs are there that are up and down or forward and backward we are doing so adjust the tension in the diaphragm then the harmonium is that accompanist finds out beforehand whether the keys in which the singer is going to sing okay so the tuning is proper so to tune an instrument is to adjust how high or low the pitch of the note produced will be okay because if suppose the singer is singing in a very low sound and if the musical instrument's sound pitch is very high then what will happen we will not be able to hear what the singer is singing only that and 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 music we can hear but actually we cannot hear the person singing okay so therefore this is very important to tune so that we can hear the singer's voice also as well as the musical instruments also okay the pitch of the sound depends upon its frequency in indian music the musical notes like sa re ga ma pa da ni sa these are in increasingly higher pitch like i am not a singer but just i'll sing it for you sa re ga ma pa da ni sa so you can see that how the sound is in a increasingly high pitch okay so in scientific term frequency is a measure of a pitch okay so frequency is increasing when i go from sa re ga ma you can see that the in frequency is increasing i am going to a higher pitch okay then when a string musical instrument such as tanpura is plucked the string can be seen to vibrate as you can see in this okay so this is a sitar okay so we can see that the sing, string is vibrating but the two ends of the vibrating strings are still one end is up and one end is down okay so these ends are not moving only the string is moving and you can see children when we are plucking the string is moving back and forth okay so it is going in the forward direction and then again coming back to the central position okay so this motion of the string is repeated again and again at fixed intervals of time and such motion is called as periodic motion okay so this is the periodic motion we can see that the string is repeated again and again this is coming back and forth back and forth in a fixed interval of time so this motion is called as periodic motion okay now always remember that we have already studied this that sound is generated by rhythmic vibrations of an object we can hear the sound as long as the object vibrates but once we touch the vibrating objects with our hand the vibrations will stop and no longer we will be hear the sound okay now sometimes we can see the vibrations but sometimes the vibrations are so minute that we cannot see them with our eyes and children if you want to feel vibrations okay what you can do is when you talk you can put your hand on your throat okay you will see you can, you will feel some vibrations 
to or vibrations that are taking place you can feel it with your fingers okay so these are the vibrations that are responsible to generate the sound okay now next we are going to study about oscillator oscillation and oscillatory motion okay now this very often we see children playing on a swing in the garden okay you all know how the swing moves it goes back and forth back and forth okay now if we go to a swing at a rest now this is the swing that is at rest this is the central position okay please pay attention this is very important this is the swing this is the central position of the swing now we are pulling the swing to one side and then let it go okay so this is my rest position i am pulling it one side and then letting it go okay so what you can see you will see that the swing is moving in this particular direction okay so that means i am starting from the central position it will go here then it will go here and then again it will come back here okay so very clearly we can see this picture see this is suppose my central position see the swing it is going here then again coming to central and again going back again coming to central again going here okay so this is back and forth movement or motion of the swing we can see okay and what we can see the swing is crossing the central position again and again as it moves from one end to another end okay so the swing is crossing the central position again and again okay now just to explain you in details this is the central position i said the swing that moves back and forth like this is an oscillator okay so this is an oscillator so we can see that just this is an example of the swing moves back and forth so that's an oscillator when the swing moves from one end to other and returns to its starting point it is said to have completed one oscillation okay now this is the starting point the swing is going then here again coming here then here and when it reaches here it is one oscillation okay so this back and forth motion of an oscillator on either side of the central position it is called as oscillatory motion okay so swing is a example of an oscillator and the motion of the swing is oscillatory motion now one more experiment we'll study this is an empty empty porcelain ball okay then we have fixed a rubber band here and then we are giving a small jerk to the rubber band okay so what we can see here the rubber band is moving okay so we can apply various greater or lower force and we'll see the rubber band moving and at the same time we can hear the sound okay now when the rubber band is stretch and release it vibrates you have seen that now if we compare the vibrations when the rubber band is stretch from the this is the original position a now i am stretching the rubber band to b now you can see that the straight rubber band when it is going to position b it is curved okay and then the maximum distance between the original position and the position b on the string of the rubber is called as amplitude of vibration okay so try to understand originally the rubber was at position a i am stretching the rubber and taking it to point b okay so now what happened the position of the rubber is changed it has become curved okay and then we can see some distance here between the original point and the new point b and this distance is called as amplitude of vibration now so this is the amplitude of vibration now when greater force is applied to a rubber okay what will happen when a greater force is applied okay more force i am applying it is stretch further so i am increasing the amplitude so when i release this it creates a greater sound okay on the other hand when i am applying a smaller force that means this is the smaller force see the distance this i am not applying much force so the rubber is stretch less and the amplitude is smaller and the sound is softer okay so amplitude is the distance that a particular object travels from its original position to the straight position if the amplitude is more with the greater force 
greater sound will be generated and if the amplitude is less with less force then smaller sound will be generated okay so i hope it is clear to everyone very important read properly we'll continue in the next video thank you